Morning, everyone. Morning. Right, so we've got a massive lineup of some brilliant speakers um, who are going to be uh, coming up in turn. Um, but first and foremost, I wanted to thank all of the trade unions for being here today, for making sure that you're here with your members, with your activists, and of course with your banners as well. As the previous speaker mentioned, it is 75 years since, the, um, since we had the NHS and there's never been a more important time for us to actually understand the value um, of the NHS. The truth is, is that the NHS wouldn't exist if it wasn't for the workforce, if it wasn't for the public sector. It is really important from a TUC, from a Wales TUC perspective, that we really zone in on the big issue of the day, which is obviously pay restoration. Public sector workers, NHS workers, haven't had an inflation-proof pay rise since 2010. We know that there's been at least a 167% increase in the number of workers, public sector workers, who are now in receipt of universal credit. So we can't shy away from the real big issues here. People are leaving the service in its droves. It is really struggling and it is creaking. It's been creaking for a really long time. But it only exists because of the people who remain committed. We're really concerned about the future generations and whether or not they will now look at the NHS as a decent career, whether they themselves will commit in the way that the current generation of workers have. We've had an entire pandemic. We've heard the claps. We've had the commitments. And of course, now the Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has said that he's got a plan for the NHS. He's got a plan. Here in Wales, we've had some good discussions with our First Minister, who has committed to pay restoration. However, again, ultimately, what is this going to be down to? It's going to be down to funding, and it's going to be down to priorities. We've also, of course, got the potential of an incoming UK Labour government too. And again, the unions are really clear. Whatever the colour of government, the unions will always si stand on the side of workers. We will always fight to protect our public services, and we will always fight to protect jobs and decent terms and conditions for the workers, first and foremost. So that is really the theme. That is the theme of today. It's about protecting the NHS. It's about recognizing the service and it's also making sure that we always recommit to fighting for the future. So I wanted to start by, um, first of all, stating a couple of apologies. We've got apologies from Joe Grady from the UCU, Paul Donaldson from the HCSA, but also the First Minister Mark Drakeford, who unfortunately couldn't be here with us today. But he has sent me a message and asked that I read this out for you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I can't join you today to celebrate the NHS and everyone working in our health and care services across Wales on the eve of his 75th birthday. I'm immensely proud of our NHS. It's part of the very fabric of our society but it has a very special place in Wales because of its roots in Tredegar and the Medical Aid Society. The beating heart of the NHS is, of course, its staff. We rely on you to look after us in our toughest times, and you are also with us for some of our happiest moments. There isn't one person in Wales whose life has not been touched in some way by the NHS and the people working in it. Much like 75 years ago, when it was first established, the NHS faces unprecedented demands for its services. The NHS of today is unrecognisable to the NHS of Bevan's day, except for the very important fact that it continues to provide universal care, free for all, regardless of the means. And I am very proud that here in Wales, we remain true to those founding principles. Our health service is constantly evolving as it responds to advances in treatments. Every day, the NHS pro provides life-saving and life-prolonging help and support to tens of thousands of people in their homes, 
in surgeries, in clinics, in local communities and in our hospitals. We overlook the sheer scale of what the NHS achieves on a daily basis in headlines about waiting times and delays. Bevan said the NHS will last as long as there are folk left with fight to fight for it. I know everyone here today, like me, are willing to fight for the NHS and to make sure we have the health and care services we need for the future. I hope you enjoy the day and the 75th birthday celebrations next week.